So now we're going to collect, connect the multimeter uh, to our PID controller and close the loop. Now, we've got to understand our multimeter has to be connected in series, as all with all ammeters. So we will adjust the dial to our ammeter DC at 20, because we're not going to go above 20 milliamps anyway, right? And we can go to 2, it really doesn't matter, but we're going to keep it at 20 for now, okay? And our ammeter will say 20, uh, I'm sorry, milliamps here, okay? So now, we're going to take our output, like so, our output to our, from our PID into here, okay? Now our common, which is running in series from our multimeter to our input at our flow valve. Our output at our flow valve will connect back into our black at our at black to our PID, okay? So now as you can see, four meters at, zoom out a little bit, zero, SP means zero percent, four meters, roughly 3.99, four, I'm sorry, four milliamps, which is four milliamps here, right? If I increase this to 50, this will be the midpoint uh, between four and 20, which is about roughly 12, okay? Um, yeah, 50% so is about 12, is going up by four. Um, if it's at 100%, it'll be at 20 milliamps here. So what we're gonna do is we're going to, I'm going to increase this to about 100, okay? Once I get to 100, you will see the pressure gauge adjust here. It will increase, okay? And then you will see the, 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 the current will also increase. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the camera there first and I'm going to increase this to 100 very quickly, starting now. Now our current is at 100%. Okay, now pressure gauge should have increased to 100, just like that. And it's at 100%, our pressure has increased. And our multimeter reading is at 19.9 milliamps, which is close to approximately 20 milliamps, which is 100% of 20 milliamps here.